Uh, good morning, Sharks. The project I will be presenting today is lending a hand. And the problem I will be presenting is homelessness in Indiana and all over the U.S. There are about 5,000 homeless adults, 18 and over, in Indiana. And 481 being family households, 539 being veterans, 268 being young adults, 18 to 24, and 449 living with chronic disease, whether it be mental illness or being handicapped. And uh, there are about 18,000 homeless students living in Indiana, and 249 being unsheltered, 2,476 being sheltered, 1,266 living in hotels and motels, and 13,872 doubling up with either family or close relatives. And here are the stats for Indiana right here and all of the U.S. <coughs> Small compared to the other states, like <coughs> Texas, California, Florida, and the rest. And then here are the students, homeless, in the other states, pretty much. And on why it matters is, I think it matters because, like, as the people, we tend to not see the, like, I don't know, I feel like we um, take things for granted. Like, I see a lot of people complain about a lot of things, and we don't really see, like, people that are less fortunate than us. And I feel like it wouldn't, like, uh, like people deserve the second chance <coughs> to get back up on their feet. And also the unsafe living conditions with the unsheltered people and living, pe like, people living on the streets because they are, like, going through this weather, obviously. Like, I'm always complaining about the weather and people always have to live through this stuff. And also they don't have the enough, like, enough funds to go out to eat, so they always have to ask for money. And my simple solution was to help make a change by raising awareness. The plan on doing that <coughs> was to make a club with a sponsored teacher, uh, a teacher that will be willing enough to like help throughout the whole thing. And to spread it, spread it we would, uh, I would talk to the student, HSC student news, and we'd try to get a segment up on there, and also I'd print out flyers and put it all around the school so we could uh, spread it out and have students come through. And my idea was to make planned runs where we would have extra clothes, maybe go out to Goodwill and buy some clothes for some people, and also get some food. And we would also like go out and hear the stories of the people that were less fortunate like to fall in that position and just raise awareness. And hopefully in the future it's spread throughout other schools and programs and cities and other states. <coughs> and, we would raise, and hopefully raise, organize fundraisers and have money um, to put people back on their feet. And, uh, thank you. Uh, overall, I, I think it was a it was a good presentation. I, I, I think you you did some some really good research, <coughs> some good facts, figures that help pull us in. Um, you did a good job of kind of transitioning yourself, and I'm just done the presentation itself. But you know, going from <coughs> the screen, then talking to us, then using your note cards. So you know, overall, you could tell that you had practiced the presentation. You did a pretty good job there. Um, I appreciate <laughs> that you got nice and dressed up, and you look good. So it's, it's showing how, how important this is to you. Um, yeah, overall, I thought it was I thought it was a, a really good presentation. What I one of the things that have been setting apart some of the presentations from other ones is some kind of personalized story that was kind of pulling us in on why this was such an important topic to you. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, it, do you have anything that 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 really um, sunk you with this, or it's like uh, I tend to watch a lot of YouTube on like, yeah, like on my spare time, and I watch some like social like social experiments and I see <coughs> like YouTubers like dressing up as homeless to see who
who would help them and who wouldn't and there's like a lot of like people that just kind of like throw it off they don't like they don't like give any money or like just any spare change they have and like I don't know it just doesn't seem too right to me so that's what I would have done different. I would have added that little bit of a story in there saying you know I saw this 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 affected me in this way mm -hmm. and this is why this you know I, I wanted to address this mm -hmm. but otherwise overall it was, it was a very good presentation and good job and again, you know, good presentation. You, you sat up here without a lot of detail. You weren't reading a lot of text to us on the screen, right? And, and so I think you've certainly identified a, a problem that, you know, uh, you know, fortunately, we all know is an issue. What I really appreciate, though, is is obviously as you're you're starting to, to build towards, hey, what can I do as far as building awareness? <coughs> you took, I think, you started down a path of look. You've identified here. Here's the numbers. Here, here's the problem for our community. But let me make this a little more relevant, and I'm going to take a, a step deeper to talk about the you know the students, right? So now, wow, okay, we know there's a lot of homeless adults. The, the you know that's a problem, but now it's even more impactful because you've made it relevant to your peers to know that there are you know, even possibly classmates, right? That that maybe living there. I guess my encouragement for you would be to continue, you know, that research, um, you know, to find even more compelling numbers. Uh, so like one, you know, obviously you, you, there was one picture of a gentleman with a cardboard sign, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of the face of homelessness. But what most people don't realize is actually, at least in Indiana, the number one population of homelessness are people that live in their cars. And yeah. you know, no one knows that because they're kind of out of sight, out of mind. And so, right, what are those other numbers and, and those stories that you can start telling that, that, that makes it even more impactful? And, and I'll share some resources um, with your teacher because it's, you know, again, one, it, actually some organizations <laughs> shared uh, with a uh, food outreach uh, cause uh, last period. Uh, but one gentleman, I would encourage you, Maurice Young, uh, he is here in Indianapolis. He's been on the streets for about five years, and he's actually homeless by choice in, in an effort to uh, really help that population. But he gave a, a TEDx Indianapolis talk a few years ago that talks about his path and, and just some of the resources and the ways he helps. So you know, as you're looking at YouTube, that, that's certainly a, a great video to, to look at. So. Yeah, I really like your passion for the subject. Um, um, the stats were great. Just one tip, though. When you when you divert from stats on your note cards and then there's different stats on the slide. You want to be careful because it can be a little confusing. Yeah. The only th reason you needed your note cards was to go over the stats that were on the slide. Throw them on the slide. Yeah. You're right and, and interact with your audience. Man, I loved your implementation plan. Um, I thought it was awesome. Probably the best one I've seen. What I liked about it is you had short and long range objectives mm -hmm. and you were creating a group of people and capturing on their passion that was similar to yours. So great job. <clears throat> I'm going to wrap this up. If you guys have more stuff for uh, for Josh, please jot it down um, on post-its or on, on paper, and we'll get that to him. Um, but in an effort, we're going to try to get through five presentations today. So, Josh, thanks so much, buddy. Thank you.